everything, the train. These motherfuckers don't, these motherfuckers hop the turnstile. <laughs> Motherfucking um, food stamps, fucking section eight. God damn, the only thing they fucked up is the um, affirmative action, but they can still go to HBCU shit. Police are looking for the suspects in connection to an assault on a subway in Brooklyn. It happened around 3.30 Monday morning on a Queens-bound A train. The oh, train was a... That's the All-Star Queens. The All-Star Queens crew. Woo! Shit. Chakwee-kwee, the man, <laughs> la Tishwee, all of them. You see them coming, man. This is trouble, man. <laughs> yeah, right, boy. Trouble is not far behind, man. That's, a, that's like a, sh a shoplifting army right there. <laughs> it looked like they paid, though. They walked through the time stuff. It looked like they made it. Is it, is it free yet? No, it's not free yet. Okay. Well, then these are these sisters. Shout out to them for paying, though. Look, man. 3 30 Monday morning on a Queens bound A train. The train was approaching the Franklin Avenue station when a 27 year old woman was approached by four suspects. Police say the suspects then punched the victim and stabbed her in the head and shoulder. She was taken to an area hospital in stable condition. But if you have any information or recognize the people on your screen, call that wasn't nice. They look like the next head. crew for set it off. Yeah, no one nice stab her in the head and shoulder. Yeah. Shit, man. <sighs> Let's see what else is going on. Um, okay, so they're looking for a new police commissioner, man. Let's see if a white guy can get it. Well, the city's top cop getting ready to step down on Friday, and still no replacement's been named. But the Adams administration says they have some candidates in mind. Linda Schmidt takes a look at the names swirling around the job of NYPD Commissioner Linda. Yeah, hi there, uh, Stephen Natasha. Well, first of all, speculation by insiders and others is focused on four names right now. Two are currently with the NYPD. One is retired from the NYPD but working for the city. And the fourth is the current sanitation commissioner. The latest person rumored to be under consideration for NYPD commissioner is city sanitation commissioner Jessica Tish. Oh, She's no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, there's a wild rumor going around in New York, right? Like the black female that was the um the police chief before that just resigned. They said they offer her some wild sex, some sex to pay, like some crazy sex stuff. And she was like, I'm a married woman, I can't do that. And she just left quietly. But it says it, it, it involves her oh, and Mayor Adams. Man, please, man. please with the please with the goddamn um <laughs> bit. You, you 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 fucking you 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 hit me with a two piece already, man. Please, man. Um current sanitation commissioner. The latest person rumored to be under consideration for NYPD commissioner is city sanitation commissioner Jessica Tish. She spent about 10 years as the NYPD's deputy commissioner of information technology under Mayor de Blasio. However, she was not a police officer who came up through the ranks. Having never done it, really does She's not a fucking police officer? Is they trying to make her... You know, she looks... She looks... Yo, she looks like fucking which which one was Bill and which one was Ted? The one, the one that was the one that was the, the blonde one. <laughs> she looked like him, man. From fucking Bill and Ted. Whatever one that was. I think that was Ted, right? Yo, she looks yo. Yo, she looked like Val Kilmer. She looked like an ugly Val Kilmer, yo. This is, this is like Garth from Wayne's world, man. Yeah, she's She's just a fucking yo. She needs to hit a tanning room or something. Yo, she needs to fit a goddamn plastic surgeon, man. I'm not, I'm not for plastic surgery, but yo, if she was, if she was my friend, I would get her a gift card to the fucking plastic surgeon, man. And I'd fucking like, I, I would be like, she'd be like, I'd be like, babe. Look. <laughs> Well, she she feels very secure in her body. She's not really wearing makeup, you know. She's she's on a different level. Look, let's let's cut the crap, man. We've been friends for a while, man. Let's stop this shit, man. She spent about 10 years as the NYPD's Deputy Commissioner of Information Technology under Mayor de Blasio. However, she was not a police officer who came up through the ranks. Having never done it 
really doesn't give you the credibility that you would need to lead a department the size of the NYPD. Jillian Snyder retired from the NYPD in 2020 after serving 14 years with the department. She says Tish is an unlikely replacement for Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell because she was never... She looks a bit like Gary Busey. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, she could be. She could pass. She could pass with Gary Busey. I, mean, I, I could see myself like being like, hey, Gary, what's up, Gary? How you doing, man? She'd be like, uh, what? Gary, man, what's up, man? How you doing, man? You no, know I no see, man. Like, oh, oh, my bad. Never a cop. I think you really need that in order to not only understand the job itself, to be able to relate to the officers in your department, but more importantly, to understand all of what that job as an officer entails. Why are we even talking about this shit, man? What the fuck? Why are we even? Why do we even have to explain that? This is obvious. This statement this woman made is super obvious, man. She's, this woman's never been a cop. <laughs> you can't be the police chief of New York City if you've never been a fucking cop. Never a cop. I think you really need that in order to not only understand the job itself, to be able to relate to the officers in your department, but more importantly, to understand all of what that job as an officer entails. The one thing I will, I, I, that got lost in the firm of action the biggest benefiters, the people who benefit the most, and I'm talking about percentages, total, total numbers, the people who benefited the most from affirmative action on the low were white women. Because white women are also part of diversity because they're not white men. A lot of people forget that. White women are part of the affirmative action thing and they benefited heavily from it other names being discussed are chief of department jeffrey madry the city's deputy mayor for public safety phil banks who is retired from the nypd and nypd first deputy commissioner edward caban who many believe now give it to the goddamn mojito man <laughs> tired of these goddamn suburbs and these glider queens man let the burrito run it, man. Is the likely choice. Caban is the second highest ranking member of the NYPD and has been on the job for more than 30 years. Yeah, he's been on the job for 30 years, man. Sold, man. Give it to him, man. We can't give it to this big, biggie, smalls looking motherfucker right here, man. He looked like a, he could be a police chief on a TV show. Though. He looked like the, the, the fucking not a central casting for some kind of fucking sitcom. I mean, um, Drama, TV drama or some shit, but I don't know if I would put him in real life, man. God damn, yeah, just give it to the fucking on Brito, man. And let's let's move along, man. Let's be done with this shit, man. Um fuck. Shit, man. Oh fuck it. My goddamn mouse acting up this shit. God damn it, man. There we go. All right. Um, let me see stuff. Yeah, man. I'm on Brito. On Brito. <laughs> I'm going with Don Brito, man. Fuck these sun words, man. You just had a sun word, sun sister. She quit. Chief of Department Jeff. You think in order to be an expeditious transition and smooth for purposes of the department, I think he would be probably the best bet. A smooth transition is critical as the city heads into the summer months. With that, historically, we've seen increased crime rates, increased shootings, increased homicides. Promoting from within tends to inspire the rank and file. Knowing if someone who did their job is really morale boosting and seeing the issues with recruitment and retention of the NYPD right now, I think it would inspire a little hope. And if he is... Oh. It, it, it's just mind-boggling that you have to explain that to them. It's insane, man. 